We do know that sea level has risen as a consequence of climate change and that the coastal flooding that was so devastating with Hurricane Sandy was made worse by climate change. So we have communities up and down uh, the northeast coastline, up and down the Jersey coastline that are facing risks from rising seas and intensifying storms. Um, we have more frequent uh, tidal flooding, we have more intense storm flooding, um, and we have to reckon with the fact that the shapes of our communities and our cities are going to change in response to this. Sea level is rising for a couple of reasons. First of all, when you warm up water, it becomes less dense. So the same amount of water takes up more space and that causes sea level to rise. But also sea level is rising because glaciers and ice sheets in the mountains, in the Arctic, in the Antarctic are melting and adding additional water to the ocean. So in sort of a best case scenario, we're probably looking at two feet of sea level rise in New Jersey over the course of the century and continuing beyond that. And in worst case scenario, we could be looking at six feet or more of sea level rise over the course of the century. Um, and if you just sit down with a map of the Jersey coastline, both our cities up the Hudson River estuary and the Jersey shore and the Delaware Bay region, what you see is that there's a lot of vulnerabilities there. Um, so already over the last 60 or so years, um, flooding that used to happen, say in Atlantic City, every year or two now happens uh, close to 10 times per year on average. Um, so that more frequent flooding is a harbinger of more flooding to come. And so we need to be making decisions now uh, in terms of infrastructure and in terms of, of land use planning that are going to affect the shape of the coast for the next hundred years. Uh, that doesn't mean necessarily that you know, we have to abandon those communities. Um, some communities probably we will have to uh, relocate away from, but we, we do have to look seriously at those challenges, look at what the options are for dealing this, and have deliberative democratic discussions in our community about these options and how we might combine them under different possible uh, futures. And we can't do that without the science of how we're changing the physical climate um, and the engineering of the technologies that will help us, us deal with that. Um, and so we're trying to bring all of those elements together um, to help build a more resilient, uh, more equitable, and healthier future um, for our coastal communities.